Hello, everyone. RBG Communicator here, back with some more Paranormal Sight. Paranormal Sight, the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. This actually could end up being the final part, or I just keep going to the end and split it there. We'll see. But in the last video, guys, we, uh... We finally got... Mayu out. It's weird we haven't played as her yet again, and there's, like, not a connecting theme from her. Was that all we're going to play her as? Is just that? Huh, it's hard to... I mean, it's hard to tell, but have they... Have this side gotten a bit darker? Or has it always been that way? And it's hard to tell. But we learned a lot of things. Uh, we learned that that one guy was full of shit saying that he had, uh, curse stones. I mean, we knew that he was full of shit because, uh, Tetsu Tetsumi had three to begin with and then she had one. So that was already four right there, four out of the nine, and he said he had six of them. And then of course, uh, she had one. So that's five. Yeah, math, math never made sense. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, and then we also, we had the manhunt, which, uh, a lot of shit went down. Uh, we saw this, our second ending, uh, Nejima's Reminiscence. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was all interesting. I think we're going to do prepare for battle. So, together with Yoshima's fiance Mayu, Yaka and Mio report all they've learned so far to te Tetsu Tetsumi and the others. Putting all their stories together, they can see their final objective at long last! Alright. Here we motherfucking go. Alright. Mr. Tetsu Tetsumi, this is Mayu Chozawa. Ah, oh, so you're the one. The Somalia police was looking for you. But I see you're all right. Sorry, I should have told someone I was okay. I was just so pissed off. Only ran into Hayaku's hands. Got myself into some deep shit. Hayaku seems like they're still up to something. We'll have to make sure they clean up their act once and for all. Get it? Because they sell soap! Nice one, boss. You really on top of your game today. Stop trying to make me feel better. I shouldn't have said anything. More importantly, Mayu. Mayu, thank you for your cooperation with Yoshimi. I'll get to the bottom of it, I promise. Oh, you must be Detective Iore. I heard a lot about you from Hajime. Are they counting on you? Catch whoever did this, no matter what. <laughs> All but finished investigating this crime scene. The police have mostly left. The only thing that's used school is our base of communications as per Inspector Tsutsumi's request. Anything? Just want to make sure. Want to make sure. I'm not sure why, but I feel fired up. Feels like we're close to the moment of truth. I think Neo feels the same. Oh! Fucking bird number two! So we only have one left. Beekaboo. Or Beekaboo. Beek. Got one left. Detective Arrow was nice enough to get something to drink earlier. Seeing a detective take time for little things like that helps put my mind at ease a little. I bet he's making jokes and stuff at a time like this because he doesn't want to stress us out. I wonder if he's able to stay so calm because of experience. Or if he's just that kind of person. 
I need to rush to Tommy's place and back for us. She's been trying to appear calm, but I'm sure she must still be in shock. Oh, I already looked at her. Oh, Mr. Tetsutsumi. I received a message from Paranormal Affairs earlier. It wasn't from Nagagoshi. I had someone look into something for me. So even the desk jockeys are lending a hand. Be brings a tear to your eye. So, what'd they say? Right. About the Omiyoji woman who was in the Edo at the time of the Hanjo incident. She was a person of great beauty and discerning taste, but also shamelessly did whatever she wanted. It seems to match the person seen in the resentful memory of the foot-washing mansion. Huh. So she must be the one who fought with Simon over the right. And they, f and they found that her name was Ashino. Ashino, huh? What else? Um, that's all. That's not much help. Oh, but, well, Ashino was the name of the lady that's in the ending of Nejima's ending there. It's a person that he brought back to life, so... Who knows? Oh, but... Apparently she was quite the powerful o Omiyoji. And she died bearing a similarly powerful resentment. It's possible that she became a vengeful spirit with a connection to the Seven Mysteries. A vengeful spirit? Well, she's the full washing mansion, so... If any descendants of Ashino or people otherwise closely aligned with her live today, there's a possibility that spirit awakened and possessed them. Yeah. You mentioned people that spirits can possess... You mentioned before that pe that spirits can possess people who are closely in sync with them. Though this, of course, doesn't mean the spirit housed her complete... complete personality. Her resentment and her spirit power. Those are the parts of her that would have the strongest influence. Since Simon's descendants are still around in the present, I won't be surprised if Ashino's were too. They might just be desk jockeys, but they won't give us this information if it was only speculation. They must have found some amount of evidence looking into abnormal phenomena or things like that. Oh, the Feast of Shadows. There it is, our abnormal phenomenon. Neo, you know, what do you mean? The person who initiated the curse this time, who we've been calling the Mastermind. They might be possessed by the vengeful spirit of the o Omiyoji named Ashino, the enemy of Simon. Do we have any idea who they could be? Or where to find them? Like, if you looked at them, Mio, would you be able to tell right away? Eh... It's like how I didn't recognize that Michio had fused with your consciousness, Yako. Common spirits will leak spirit energy left and right, so I can notice them just by looking carefully. Now when spirits of a higher caliber fuse with someone's consciousness, the sight detecting them isn't so simple. Oh. So I'm sorry. My skills still need a, a lot of work, and I don't have anything else to offer. Mio, yeah, that's not true at all. You're fine. We'll make this work somehow or another, some way or another. Thanks. Basically, I believe the mastermind behind everything is a woman possessed by the vengeful spirit of the o Omiyoji Ashino. I see. Is this mastermind also the one who killed Hajime trying to get the record of Fate's Yin Scroll? Yes, I think that's very likely. So that's how it is, huh? And I want you to catch them no matter what. I'm still trying to find a good voice for her. I mean, we only had her, like, what, two parts ago? This is, like, the third part with her in it. Oh, Mayu, did you meet with Hitomi? Yeah, I met her at the spot I was told. She was acting tough, but I think the incident with Hajime has her really shaken up. I briefly explained her situation and had her give Hajime's talisman to me. Here, that's what you're looking for, right? Yane, talisman acquired. Yes, I believe that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Tetsutsumi, about this. Right. You should hold on to it, Mio. Not like we can use it as it is. Try to figure out what we'll need to do once we get both halves together. Understood. I'll see what I can do. You know where the other talisman is? Uh, yes? Probably. 
This is Hajime's last job. Finish it for him, okay? We will. I guess it's the end of his family line too, huh? All the people who inherited that talisman before him are already all gone. Actually, yeah, every, the whole the whole line is gut dead if you really think about it. Like uh, uh, Michio's father's dead. Michio's dead. He's dead. Come to think of it, did Oman Ashiyama end up getting away? Uh, so where's our way out, huh? He was cornered, but managed to take a hostage and escape. That's what I heard on the radio. What happened after that? So that's all they're reporting? Here's what really happened. He's fucking dead! He was killed? And the hostage was Tetsutsumi's daughter, whose whereabouts are still unknown? Uh, yep! His daughter showing up was a huge surprise. Even Boss couldn't believe it. Damn it! The hell do you expect? No one could have seen that coming. So there's already an emergency search underway for her as a key witness and suspect. I'll be rejoining the search for her after we're done here. Key witness and suspect? But wasn't she a hostage? Could she have killed Nejima and fled the scene? Well, it's just a possibility. <clears throat> For taking talking possibilities, might as well tell them everything. It's very likely that Nejima was killed by a curse stone. What? By a curse bearer? Oh, it's the right evening. So the effect of the Feast of Shadows would still would be starting to return. Yeah, which makes it likely that a curse was used to kill him. Boss, you're repeating yourself. Try to calm down for a sec. But that would mean. The inspector's daughter is probably a curse bearer, right? Huh. You say something. Maybe I'm losing my hearing in my old age. Boss, you can hear just fine. Don't play the old man card every time you want to get out of something. You even talked about how she might have the Taigo of Tatsugari, if that's the case. Did we? My memory's a little hazy. You've got a soft spot for your daughter, don't you, Inspector? Mm. It's just... It's a little too close to home to now home to home now. Either way, we have to find her as soon as possible. That's why we'll be joining the search as soon as we're done here. One more thing. There's a very good chance that his daughter has Michio Surasashi's talisman. All the more reason for you to get back to that search. Best of luck. What the hell has she gone herself into? Okay, yep, that's what I figured. So, actually, did that get updated then? Up, 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 uh. Oh, right, it's in gameplay, God. I was like... Uh, no, that did not... I guess it's because it's still speculation. It's not a for sure confirmation, so... Ah, I already had a curse stone, too. Yeah, I should give it to you then, right? Those things really are a pain in the ass. I'm glad to hand it over to you before it starts giving me any crazy ideas. So this is the beckoning light, huh? Alright, safe and sound with me. Sorry you won't be able to bring him back. Don't worry about it. You and I were always prepared for the worst anyway. What the? What's wrong? Damn. Trigger the beckoning light's curse is some serious shit. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why it said give me weird ideas. See what I mean now? How's it work? I'll leave you a, a note you can read later. We have more important things to worry about now. Right. This is Tetsutsumi. Does that make it five curse stones that you've gathered now? Should be. We want to get the other four into wraps as soon as we can. Oh yeah, I was about to say four. Right, I, I would assume his daughter has the, the one-sided reed. I forgot about that one. Let's see. I have no idea about the Whispering Can... Can... Chana, can... Whispering Canal. So I made off with the one-sided reed which Nejima had. Yeah, 
Damn shame. After that, you said earlier that the Taigo of Tatsugari might be with your daughter, Inspector. Well, let's set that one aside for now. So, we can assume that curse bears are still prowling about out there with those ones. What a headache. Hope we can find them soon. Now, is that everything we need to chat about? We don't need anything else. We'll be going back to the search. Um, there actually is one thing. Oh, what's that? Um, just completely hypothetically. Hypothetically, what if the inspector's daughter was the mastermind? I mean, she's a woman. It seems like she was after the talismans. Uh, sorry. Don't really understand what you mean. Boss, come on. We've gotta look at the facts. That would mean Inspector Tetsutsumi would also have have to be one of Ashino's descendants. Oh, right. Just a normal person, right, Inspector? Unless that's why you're so resistant to the paranormal. Mm. Don't believe I ever heard anything about being related to some Omiyoji. Oh. But. Well, there's two possibilities. One, your wife. Or two, it's the baby. It's the baby that Nejima had. Well, you put it like that. Her being the mastermind, it's possible. Really? Uh, I say possible, but I mean unlikely. It's what I want to think. Damn it, don't even want to imagine it. Boss, if we're going to consider it, we have to do it properly. Not dragging our heels about it. No, it's not that. It's something I never told her. I never wanted to tell her. The truth is, she's not my real daughter. Okay, yep. She's the baby. What? 20 years ago. Well, it's a long story, but we took her in when she was just a baby. Do you know anything about her birth parents? Could say I do, I guess. But really, I don't know anything. What's that supposed to mean? I don't get it. Arroway. You heard what I said, didn't you? Just now? About 20 years ago? No. Boss, that can't be. Nejima's? That's right. When we arrested Fumijika and Nejima, there was a baby at his house on the brink of death. And I was my daughter, Ayame Tetsutsumi. He goes by Amane Tono now. What? Someone had to take care of her. The baby holds no blame for the circumstances she comes from. B -b boss According to Nejima, that baby... It's his former lover reincarnated using black magic. What? Personally, I think that story is bullshit. Coin to Nejima. Wimp. My goodness. It's hard to believe from Nejima's behavior, but could it really be true? I've got a few doubts. I have to question whether the Shino woman ever really existed in the first place. There are no records of her, and no bio was found. Her name never came up once during the investigation. Even if this woman really existed, I'm skeptical that someone could be reincarnated as a baby through black magic. I agree. No matter how you look at it, a spell with that effect is hard to believe. Even the supernatural has rules that must be followed. It seems more likely he's deluded himself. I wanted to recognize that spell he risked his life on failed to work. That's my thinking, too. A more natural conclusion is that the baby is his and Shino's, and that she died in childbirth. As long as we don't know Shino's origins, we have to consider the possibility that he could be a that she could be a descendant of Ashino. Huh. Nothing else, the names are pretty similar. Okay, assuming all of that is true for a moment. I'm on a game taken away by Nejma and then killing him. Tell me that she killed her own father. Calm down. This is still conjecture. 
Now that Nejma is dead, we have no means to investigate. So regardless of everything, there's only one thing that matters. She's my daughter. As her parent, I'm responsible for her. Nothing can change that. I understand. Alright, she got back to the search. We'll find her and clear all of it, this. Yes, sir. That tells me you young ladies are looking for us something to do with this as well. I'd appreciate it if you could help us find it. So if anything happens, please call the police. We will. I'm worried about he tell me. So I'm gonna head to where she is. I'll be waiting to hear some good news from you all. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Woo! Last resort. Haruhi and Richter rescue Mayu Chizo and interrogate her along with Taku and interrogate her along with Takuma Yumiyaka. If they fail to gain any particular useful information about the cursed bears, they decide to turn to Haru's home when someone is there. Remember? I bet, because she gave the address. Or he gave the address. We received an update on the hostage situation. A 56-year-old male suspect who announced his intention to commit mass murder in Sumaya City today. I had taken a woman hostage and gone on the run. But was found by the police in the park of Sumaya after 4 p.m. and confirmed dead. The weapon the suspect was said to possess was nowhere to be found on site. And so whereabouts are currently unknown. Furthermore, the female hostage was not present, and the search for her continues. Hmm. Interesting. If it's being reported on the news, then that leads credence to a story. Hi there. Yep. Oh, I can't investigate. Oh, ha, ha, I can't investigate anything. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Oh. Alright, well, before I talk to you. He was quite shaken just moments ago, but he seems better now. You'd think it'd be hard for him to keep his cool. I wonder what her intentions are. How is she able to act like nothing happened? Is this just how girls are these days? Well, then, how should I proceed? Is this what it's like to be rushing into one's doom? Anyways, I should ask about her side of the story. Okay, can't do anything until we talk to her. Well, it's just like I said, right? The female hush is mentioned on the news just now. That must have been you. Which means you killed Nejma with your own curse stone. <laughs> well... You said he'd give me refuge, so I came to take you up on that offer. What are you planning? Hmm? Me? Well, obviously. I'm on to my last resort. <laughs> oh, still gotta talk to her. So, you're a curse bear with a curse stone too, right? <laughs> are you surprised? Yes, I have a curse stone on my own. It's the Taigo of Tatsugaru. Then why go after another person's curse stones? Other people's curse stones? Um, because killing people is bad, you know? Don't you think so, too? I wonder. Oh, are you the type of lady who's willing to sacrifice anything for the sake of your goals? That's... Man, it sure ain't good. People will question whether your parents went wrong with you. Went wrong, you know. Well, people can be harsh. Either way, that's why I want to only use soul dregs gathered by others. But that didn't work out in the end. No one had the backbone to use their curse. The world's gone soft. With no one mercilessly using their curse in pursuit of their own goals, I had to take matters in my own hands. And now people might be wondering where your parents went wrong, hmm? Well... I suppose, huh? But it had to be done. If you say. 
Hey, Na Namagaki, the young man you were with, used his curse stone too. Huh? How do you know that? Eh, creepy much. Are you stalking me? I may have heard it from a detective I know. Ah, there it is. Cops. Bunch of... N Bet you know a bunch. I know your type. People boast just because they know a couple of cops. But the police is filled with nothing but scum. My, you seem to hold quite a grudge against the force. Speaking of, this guy's really creeping me out. What's the deal with him anyway? You gonna explain? Even the way he moves is all weird and ex ex exaggerated. Right, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Um, no. No, thank you. Mm. You're kind of a bitch. Victor's like the best character of this game. So, what were we talking about again? Alright. Yutaro Namagaki. He's no good, honestly. He's such a wuss. I had to spur him on so many times for him to even use his curse. And even then he was pissing his pants. And just when I take my eyes off him, he hands over his curse stone to someone. Honestly, he's a disappointment. So that's what happened. Which is why I figured I had to do it myself if I wanted to do... If I wanted it done right, you know. That's what my last resort is. Collecting soul dregs on my own. Now did we get the... The thing updated? Still no. Okay, maybe we need like... Maybe we need like her file or something to get updated first. Let me introduce myself. It's hard to talk as strangers. Is it? And you're okay telling me who you are? Well, I won't stop you. Do as you please. Well, I'm a Haruhi Sh Shigima, and this is my house. My father and husband are both with the police. Is that so? You know the cops are just the worst people, right? Well, there are certainly many who are cold. Especially with their own family. In a police family, one is always expected to just grin and bear it. No matter what happens. God, I know, right? What a relief. You understand? I think we might get along. Oh, well, I'm glad then. And I'm Richter Kai, private investigator. Ugh, did I ask? But, hmm, you're an investigator? So your job is to sneak around and follow people to pry into their secrets, right? Oh, is that why you keep probing with all these questions? Ew. Probing? Guess there's not much I can do to change that terrible impression you got of me. Hey lady, why are you working with this dude? I asked him to look into something for me. Really? It's just that he keeps looking this way. Still gonna say the exact same thing? Yep. Isn't your father a police officer as well? That man is not my father. Not a name or deed. Sounds like there's some bad blood there. I've already legally cut all ties. You even had that nerve to act all high and mighty today. And still refuse to help me. You met him today? Yes, today. Remember that chief Tetsutsumi who was chasing Nejima? That's him. My dad. What? You're his daughter? Former daughter. I've cut ties. Like a bitch. He's never acted like a father, so he doesn't deserve the title. Well, you don't deserve the title of daughter. Hmm. You know, I heard something about that Nejima guy. Apparently he wanted to get revenge on Chief Inspector Tetsutsumi for his arrest by going after his daughter. Wait, really? And I heard the police had been searching nonstop to take you into protective custody. So that explains why the police were staking out your place, too. Man, how could I have known that? They came in such intimidating numbers. Wait, huh? Hold on a minute. Doesn't that mean that Nejima was specifically after my life today? That sounds about right. It's a good thing you got out unscathed. Or rather, managed to turn the tables on him. Yeah. Oh, that means, legally speaking, it was self-defense. That truly was quite frightening. To think I'd have to go through this just for being related to a cop. 
It's a disgrace. It truly is. To cause their own sh out such trouble. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. You're not the one that needs to apologize, lady. Uh, I'm sorry. This just remind me of what happened to my son. Your son? What happened? Hmm. My child was also kidnapped and murdered in order to enact, enact revenge against the police, you see. What? How awful. That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, now that you say it, I do remember hearing about an incident like that last year. That must have been your son, huh? My condolences. This is so weird to me. Now I think about, although we've met a few times, I don't even know your name. I guess we're more like acquaintances now. So, when you were taken hostage by Nejima, you used the curse stone and the guns and swiftly made your get getaway. Well, yeah. I didn't really have time to think on it. At the time, I only thought of how to get out of there. Then, what about now? Could you use it again? Your curse stone. Now, the curse stone doesn't respond during the day, but... It's evening now. So I tried using the curse just now and... Yep, it seems I activated it. What? You're using it now? I might... It might still be a little weak, but I guess it's not supposed to be used repeatedly. But I think I could get it to work once more. Oh. That's so. Sure is. So I'll give you a final warning. It's already started, so be careful, hmm? It started. What started? The curse, of course. All that's left is for the conditions to be fulfilled. <laughs> well. Calm down, ma'am. If you're using a curse, one would target a curse bear. Ta! I hadn't even considered it. Would it be possible to use my stone as well now? If it's already active, does that mean we'll die the second we, tr we tip her conditions? The proclamation meant she thinks I'm a curse bearer. Did she find out? Or is that this a trick to get me to admit it? Hmm. Interesting. She activated her curse? The curse stone can be used already. I let my guard down. I didn't think it could be used this early in the evening. Ma'am, please calm down. What should I do? Should I keep her talking? Which curse stone? Now, instead of talking about that, how about we talk about why you're so shaken? As I thought, you have a curse stone too. You're a curse bear, aren't you, lady? Ah, there we go! Huh? Well, Ma'am? Ma'am? Tom, did she fulfill the conditions? She sure did! Okay, it's time for a beatdown! Jeez, why did you try to hide it now all this, of all times? I would have come if you weren't a curse bearer. Well... Ah, 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 ah. Oh, stop! Mm, too bad, she's already dead. This is horrific. I'll be taking her curse stone. Whoa, huh? All the haunting clappers need was a source of fire? That was a close one. Now then, what will you do, Mr. Investigator? <sighs> Not a curse bearer, so I don't have any reason to kill you. But I won't show you mercy if you're going to try and capture me. So what will it be? Still don't know how your curse works. It's too risky to make a move. Um, your employer's already dead anyway, so. There's no reason for you to go out of your way to arrest me, right? I could still do my duty as a citizen report you, you know. Oh, what a surprise! This is when you decide to suddenly choose the side of righteousness? Just after the same thing, you know. It's no clean hands when it comes to soul drags. 
Well, it looks like you don't have anything to say about that. I'll be taking my leave then. Bye-bye. Well, shit. So, let's not lie to her then? Upon killing Har Harwe Shigina, a fellow curse bearer, Maritono attained more than enough soul dregs for the right of resurrection. However, it turned out that res resurrecting someone who died a long time ago required an even larger amount. To fulfill her heart's desire, de deepest desire, she'd need to harvest more. So, she waited for the sun to set for when the Feast of Shadows effects were at its peak. And she used the one sided reed curse stone she had stolen from Fumijika Nejima. With it, she proceeded to kill all those whose personal information she knew, starting with those who mattered least to her. God damn. About the one sided reed. Kills by dismemberment whose face, address, name, occupation, and location are all known by the curse bearer. Many of them were random men, gullible and dis disposable, drawn in by the allure of a female university student. One noteworthy victim among them was Tetsuo Tetsu Tetsutsumi, who, being a curse bearer himself, was promptly targeted for his soul drags. Tetsu Tetsumi's death threw the investigation efforts into disarray, allowing Amane to evade capture. After she acquired various addresses, registries, and phone books, and systematically killed the people listed in them. Mother fucker. Unexpected victims could be safe at home, only to suddenly have their limbs severed. The strange deaths took society to its core. Or shook society to its core. <sighs> this bitch! God damn. This bitch is fucking crazy. Oh my god. And they're like sprite changing like that. Oh, this is crazy. So, is this our third ending? All, but all things must come to an end. And so, in time, the killings stopped. After how many people, though? Sometime after the killings, a modern-day genius female UKA artist burst onto the art scene. She introduced herself as the mysterious mad paintress, and her fame grew quickly as she... Pr presented one incredible work after another. Praised as the modern reincarnation of Katsuhiko Oka Okasai, she quietly made her own mark on history. She quickly. Ending four. Ayame's I aspiration. Okay. Well, that didn't work. So let's resume. So we can't lie to her. Let's not lie. Yes, I am. I'm sure you've already noticed. Well, yeah. Around last night. It's a little too obvious. Judging by your dress, I'm guessing you've got the haunting clappers? Yes, that's right. There's a lot of soul dregs on the table for killing Curse Bear, you know. I'm well aware. Did you get soul dregs when you killed Nejima? Of course. This Curse Stone already contains some soul dregs as well. I think killing one more Curse Bear will be enough for the right. You can combine soul dregs across several stones. Correct. All it needs is the prerequisite amount. As long as you've got that doesn't seem to matter where you got them from. I see. Then, you won't mind if I took them, right? Hi, my lady. You're quite motivated, aren't you? You're feeling motivated. I am the storm that is approaching. Ma'am? Last resort.
Your father, the Chief Inspector. I met him not too long ago. Oh, really? He came off a little stiff and awkward. Ha! Huh. There's a surprise. But there was something charming about his seriousness. He seemed like he cared a lot about his daughter. Ah, please cut it out. It's gross. You don't know a thing about us. Outsiders shouldn't butt into another family's affairs. Though he may as well be a stranger to me now. If you're cut... Our legal ties are still related by blood. Huh? We're, we're not related at all. Huh? He probably thought... That I never noticed it, but... It wasn't hard for me to figure out that I wasn't related to them by blood. So you were adopted. I got curious, so I looked into it. It's all pretty straightforward. I was a baby when they took me in. All they did was raise me. Hmm. My mother first got pregnant shortly after she married. But it was a stillbirth. <laughs> All fair let the deeper wound on her heart. My father couldn't bear to see it. So it's for her sake that he did it. I was a substitute. A replacement for the child she lost. He decided that all by himself. He didn't discuss it. Maybe he was trying to be thoughtful. Sunny baby would have been fine. As long as it could have comforted the, comforted the woman who hoped to become a mother. Put in such a way. It's not easy to raise a child. My mother was bewildered. Wouldn't you be? After being told to raise a baby that wasn't your own? But she couldn't just abandon the baby either. And my father just left everything to my mother and never lent a hand. He's so damn selfish. Two of them grew apart. I watched them try and figure out how to understand each other. And the sight of it disgusted me. It was a messed up family, I tell you. Well, I guess my presence was to blame for that rift to begin with. You shouldn't say that. I know he's a bad at... Uh, I know he's bad at expressing himself and has his work, but still, that shouldn't be an excuse. But knowing all that, I couldn't take it anymore. It just made me want to hurry up and leave home and live on my own. I still rely on him for tuition and allowance, but that much is normal for most kids, right? I don't want him to start acting like he's my father now just because he's doing the minimum. I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like it was tough for all of you. I'm sorry. You're right. It's not my place to talk about your family. Ah oh well, I may have said too much. I think I spilled the whole all that when I don't even know what the conditions are. Could it be what you're talking about had something to do with the activa activating conditions of the haunting clappers? Who knows, hmm? How did you kill Fumichika Nejima? I'm not telling you. Only that's because it does concern me. He was one of the reasons my child was kidnapped. There's not much to say. We talked and he cleared the conditions for my stone. Did he show any signs of remorse over his past crimes? I didn't feel like he did, no. I see. This world's full of trash men, I tell you. That's... I agree. What? Why are you looking at me? In a way, I guess you could say you put a stop to Nejima's mass murder schemes. Hmm, about that. There's no guarantee that I won't do it myself. Huh. I picked up this curse stone of the ones that I read. Really, it's something else. Unfortunately, I can't use a curse stone that's not mine until it's late at night. Really? Are you okay with telling me that? Ah, how silly me. I let that slip. Teehee. What is your wish, Ayame? Is it really to resurrect Katsu Shika Hokats Hokusai? Yes. There's no life that holds more value than his. Including my own. You're saying you'd be willing to die if it meant bringing Hokosai back to life. Not all life is equal. 
At least, not to me. A life that can be birth that can birth art with the art with the power to move hearts is infinitely more worthy. Compared to that, the life of someone like me, someone that can't produce a thing, has no value. That's unhinged. I'm still young. It's the age of for wild thoughts. But aren't you the same as me? What? You've got a life more important than your own. A life you consider more important than the lives of many others. That's what you're doing it all for, isn't it? <laughs> you're right. If I can save my son, I couldn't care less about my life or the lives of others. Who's unhinged now? I'm a mother. It is what it is. Dang. The feelings of a proper parents are something else. But if that's your wish then, what do you plan on doing if you don't get your wish? Oh, haven't thought of that. I might just keep on trying to bring Okaisai back some other way. You really are obsessed. You and Hi Hayaku's chairwoman might be cut from the same cloth. Who's that? She's like an all-powerful vortex of obsession turned to yokai-level proportions. Hmm, you're saying I'll end up like her? Are you looking forward to such a future? I'd rather not have to wait till I'm an, I'm old and creaky. I want it to happen now. I'll put my life on the line for o o Osai. Goodbye. Huh? Mom, please, think this through. <laughs> Mom, why? It was the only way. Richter. Could we settle any outstanding tabs now? Yeah, sure. Die, bitch. You don't deserve to live. She's fucking batshit crazy. Some days later. Amamori, you got a moment. Of course. Was it, Mr. Richter? I was just curious. Have you heard of the legend of the mother who prayed to the Smiley River and resurrected her dead child? What are you on about? Hmm. The mother searched so desperately for her abducted child that she lost her mind. The son was found dead in Smiley River. So she then built a mount and continued to pray there until... The son somehow emerged from the mound. Back from the dead, or so the legend goes. I heard it's been adapted into a Noah play, too. Interesting. And? Well, it just had me thinking that legends really do exist. Um, sorry to ask again, but... What are you on about? I wonder if that's the line. Should I keep staying with that line then, or should I try to ask any of the other questions? Because that has a lot of questions to ask. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is a nice song. So is this ending three? Is this ending three? Because we got ending four already. And I did not know that was going to happen. You know, I, I've always did the... 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 
whatever the three d line dots is called, the abstract? No. I can't remember what's called. Oh well. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. This is my last resort. Never mind. Here's what it is. Welcome to my office. Might be small and dirty, but welcome. Come on, Ern Ernstein. Say hello. That's right. Good girl. That's the name of his bird, right? Oh, that boy over there. That must be... Hey, kid. I'm a private investigator. I worked with your mother not too long ago. What's that? You want to be an investigator when you grow up too? That's great. It's so much better than becoming a police officer. Oh, is he talking to the kid? Hey, I'm Amori. Don't you tell the kid to give up on his dreams. I think it's a great idea. Why don't you bring us all some tea instead? Uh, pardon me, let's start over. What brings you to my humble office today? Haraway's Legacy. I'm actually curious. Oh. Ooh. So does that mean that there'll be no more Haraway? I do notice that there's not another thing over here as well. But then again, they could, they could just pop up. So we'll see. Now let's start here. Because so we have all those questions. No, instead of talking about that, we should be talking about why you're so shaken. Oh. So it's that. Oh, okay. So it just gets to that no matter what. Oh, they're not letting me fast forward because I have my curse thing there, aren't they? Which I'll be honest, that kind of sucks. So... Come on now. See, I didn't do any of the other ones. The negotiate. The... free to smoke if you want to, please. I'm okay. I don't see any ashtrays out on the display either. Does no one smoke in this family? A little rare, isn't it? No way in the family does. Hmm. Richter's like, you want to use the curse stone, don't you? Why don't you ask me if I did all of a sudden? Well. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. It's 
So yeah, I did all that. I was like, yeah, I should probably kill her first because that's probably not the right thing to do. It seems like killing is never the right one thing to do. So I was like, I might as well just do that first. Blah, blah, blah. Negotiate. Miss Inamane, I have something to ask you. No, the answer is no. The curse stone in your possession. I. I'm not giving it up. You're right. We're both made of stronger stuff than that. We're not giving it up. And neither am I. You know full well, right? That there's no room left for negotiations here. You're right. There's not. Ah! Uh -huh. Did you try to use your curse just now? It seems it didn't meet your con curse's conditions. I wonder if it was that smart to secretly toss the lighter I was carrying earlier. <laughs> what did... You made a mistake when you decided to ask me about smoking. If a source of fire is a condition for your stone, then you won't see me falling for it now. <laughs> you wasted your chance with all this chatter. All you need to do is activate your curse first. I brought everything Nijima had on him, including the lighter he was holding. <laughs> but it's over now. Yes, I concede. Alrighty. There are cards on the table, you're out of options. It's pointless, I'm telling you. Ah, that's hilarious that they still tell me I should use it. Alrighty. Now I have options. It might be possible for Mr. Investigator there to pin me down by force. But he's not going to do that, is he? Correct. I won't take that risk. Now all your curse's conditions are unknown. Coward. I came to kill you and acquire your soul dregs, but after hearing you out, I got a question for you. Why don't you just give up on the right of resurrection? You said it was for your son, right? The one you want to bring back? But haven't you done enough? I'm sure your son's content knowing you cared for him this much. It tr I'm truly willing to die to resurrect. Okusai, but you can't say the same, right? <clears throat> if you're going to bring your son back, you have to be alive as well, right? In fact, what you really want is for both of you to live, right? Y yes. Well, even if you both live to see it, your son would grow up knowing you for who you are. So understood the lives of others to bring him back. You would be Putting the burden of shouldering all the lives sacrificed for him on his little shoulders. Are you really okay with that? <clears throat> if you didn't even think about that, then what you're doing is not for your son. It's for yourself. Aren't you just bringing him back to fulfill your own desires? That's not... Ma'am. What she's saying may be harsh, but holds a kernel of truth. Don't reduce yourself to nothing but a mother who should- who would sacrifice anything for her son. But... that's not... We discovered the truth behind his kidnapping. Next, you should take some time to come understand your own feelings. I'll help you every step of the way. Getting to the heart of things is what an investigator does. Now what you do? Ma'am. If you relinquish the curse stone to a curse bearer, you will no longer be a curse bearer. You won't be a target anymore. Mane is giving you a chance. Think hard, and then give her y give your answer. 
I might as well give it up. I have no reason to do it. Very well. I'm sure if I said don't give it up, she'd kill me. Here. Thanks. Glad you could see reason. Mom, you made the right choice. I am actually so curious. Could... If I, if I did all those... Would it all just result in the same, no matter what I picked in that first option there? Would it all be the same? Probably. Dang, you really didn't collect any soul dregs, huh? I promised myself that if I ever used it, it would only be once. Only once. But in the end, it didn't come down to numbers. So they only need to be carrying a flame. It seems pretty practical. Well, I'll be taking my leave then. There's no point in going after you for Soul Drake, so I'm off to the next curse bearer. Do you know who remains? You spoke as if you already figured it out. Hmm, I've got a pretty good idea from our talk. What will you do? Do you plan to stop me? It's not my place to intervene. Alright then. Hey lady, can I borrow your phone? I don't mind. But who are you calling? Hmm? The cops! I think it would be faster if I called them directly. Oh boy! There we go. Conclusion.